setting up the building file, phases and objects. Okay, so what are we going to be doing? Well, let's write some notes down. We are going to get rid of the site. So delete the site. That's kind of a side issue. But then we're going to deal with the phases and objects in the building file. So we did it with the site. Now we're going to do it with the building. So let's go to our 3D view. So I'm just going to click on this standard 3D view here. This view will always take you to, or this button will always take you to the 3D in brackets. Okay, so first thing we were going to do, get rid of the site, because it's already done, and we're going to be linking that in, and we don't want any duplication. So I just windowed things, hit delete, and done. Pretty easy. Just spinning this around, seeing what I can see. It looks fine so far. Next, we're going to be talking about the phases, and then the phases and the objects. It's a little bit of a review. If I go to the ribbon, then manage, and then phases, we can see here that there's existing and new construction. Everything that we've modeled so far is on the phase new construction. That's how Revit is by default. So if we wanted to switch it back to existing, we could do that. But we don't need to because it is in fact new construction, so we're fine here. The only issue here is the name. I I don't like the name new construction. If new phases come along, you know, you run out of new, newer, newest, it's better to just call it phase one, two, three, and so on. But how do you do that? Can you rename it like this? Well, let's try. Oh, there we go. Phase one. Perfect. Now we can insert another one after, and it'll be phase two. That was easy. Say OK. So now let's just confirm that the objects are on the correct phase. So when I click on that, what is it on? Phase 1. Okay. That one there. Phase 1. The dyno. Phase 1. Great. So this one's all set. So it's just a matter of us saving. Let's do a save as. There's the building. Let's overwrite it. And we can go to the application menu and then close. That concludes this lesson.